What up, y'all? It's Matt Shop here. So today I got a great video for y'all. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be seafoaming my dirt bike. So this is gonna be called my dirt bike slash motorcycle seafoam shock treatment. And if y'all missed out on any of my other seafoam shock treatment videos, don't forget to check the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check the links in the description for anything you see me using in this video. I'll put links to Amazon where y'all can find this stuff. So, you can see I have the exhaust off right now. And I'm going to give y'all a shot, um, a close-up of the exhaust port before we get started. Because it's all carboned up and I'm going through this thing and I'm cleaning up the whole exhaust system. So I want to run some seafoam through it right now uh, with the exhaust on there and then I'm going to burn out the exhaust, all the carbon out of the exhaust and then clean that out and repack it so that hopefully it'll be uh, nice and clean. Alright y'all, so let me give you a close up of this exhaust port really quick and uh, then we'll get started. But make sure to stay tuned because I'm not going to be seafoaming this thing the way that y'all think I am. So you're going to want to see this. All right, so here's our before, and I don't know if y'all can see up in there, but uh, I got my flashlight, and hopefully y'all can see up in there. Let's see, can you see that? Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. You can see on my finger, straight charcoal up in there, all that carbon. But, um... We're going to run some seafoam through this and see what happens. I bet you it'll clean this stuff out of here. And if you can't see in there that well, you're going to have to take my word for it. It's way more than I would want. And I know it doesn't look that bad right here, but it, it it's more than I'd want in there. So let's see if this thing cleans it out. I'm going to put the exhaust all back on here and then we'll be back with the seafoam in action. All right, so make sure your bike's warmed up because you don't want to do this on a cold bike. So I'm going to get this thing warmed up and I'll be right back. All right, our bike's warmed up now, so we're going to fill up our little spray bottle here and we're going to get it in there and get it done. I had to get my umbrella out. You see I'm in the shade now. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Could have just stuck. I could have just stuck uh, that up in the bottle, but what's the fun in that? All right, so that tube ain't gonna go all the way to the bottom, but you're ready for this. I'm not even sure what's gonna happen, so let's crank it up and let's just see what happens.
that made an absolute mess. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that made a giant mess. Um, it was an experiment. You know, I got a good bit of sea foam through there. It's down to here. It was like this, so I got a good bit of sea foam through there, and uh, yeah, man, that made a mess. It got splatter everywhere. I couldn't get this thing to focus into a stream. It didn't want to. But uh, it got splatter all up here, vapor, little splatter all over here. You can see the smoke coming from here. Yeah, it probably would have been better to use this and close that little boot up over it. That way it goes straight into the motor. But uh, a good little experiment. So I'm going to let this thing sit for like 15 minutes or something like that. And I might wipe off the exhaust a little bit, wipe it down. And then uh, we're going to come back. And we're going to see the smoke show. And after that, we're going to see how much uh, carbon's left in that exhaust port. I'm interested to see. So y'all stick around for a minute here. All right, are y'all ready for the smoke show? All right, let's see what happens. Let's start this thing up. No smoke. Wow. Wow. Okay. So was this a fail or not? Hmm. Well, it smoked a lot when I was Putting it in, I guess that was all the smoke. Everything I've ever sea foamed, you let it sit and it smokes a ton. But I don't know. It's got me baffled. I might go ride it around for a second. Well, no, nah, I'm not going to ride it. I'm baffled. Let me know what y'all think. Maybe it just burned it all off right then when I was doing it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> was this a fail or not? Y'all let me know in the comments. What do y'all think? Was this a fail? Should I have used this? Uh, do you think this would have done a better job? I'm really baffled. I really am. I really thought there was going to be plumes of smoke, just like everything else I've ever done. That's really weird. Um, Alright, well, let's take this exhaust off, and let's take the header off, and let's see what it looks like. Let's see if there's any difference. Maybe it cleaned it all out when I was doing it. So, let's see if there's a difference. That thing is going to be super hot, though. Alright, well, I got the exhaust off. Let's take a look and see if it did anything. All right, y'all, let's see what we got. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. Okay, well, was this a fail? Uh, did I do it wrong? Should I have used this stuff? Um, you know, did I have the throttle? Not enough, too much, not enough sea foam, or does sea foam just not work for what I'm trying to do? You know, I don't have a lot of faith in these chemical cleaner type, you know, put this in your motor and bring it back to normal. Um, I'm of the mindset, you know, take the thing apart, wire wheel it, make sure it's jetted right, so you don't get carbon buildup, or just say to heck with it and leave it alone. But, um, yeah, it's jetted right. Everything's jetted right, so I might go back and fine-tune the jetting or something like that. But, uh, as far as this decarbonizing, you know, this works great on two-stroke outboards and stuff like that, but it, it might work better on a two-stroke or something like that. I don't know. Like I said, this was an experiment. Y'all can do this at your own risk. And, uh, yeah. It did absolutely nothing. It's all still flaky up in there. It's all super flaky up in there. And it didn't remove any of that. So maybe it got it from the valve seats and all that, and this was too thick. Maybe it didn't do anything. Maybe it cleaned up something. I don't know. 
but I'm gonna put the rest in the gas tank and I'm gonna give y'all a close-up picture of this because it's kind of hard to see all right y'all thanks for watching let me know in the comments what y'all think about this you know did I totally screw this up was it a fail was it not a fail you know what could I have done better or maybe seafoam just doesn't clean out those big pieces of carbon well at all I don't know but uh, let me know what y'all think I'm interested to see but I'm gonna get in there with a the wire wheel and some solvent and get it out because I'm not leaving it like that and uh, don't forget to check the links in the description because I'll link y'all up to seafoam the spray kind and the regular kind you know they also have it by the gallon and don't forget to like comment and subscribe while y'all are down there for more dirt bike videos later